Okay, I'm making a video of my solar array and I want to explain how I got everything set up. But here's my solar panels and I got a some of them are 100 watt and some are 200 watt. But let me go around here. I'll show you how I got everything set up. That a lot of this that I built here, I did out of scrap. A lot of the wood and stuff, you know. I tried to do as much out of scrap just to save money. But on my panels, I've got these actuators. See these actuators here? So I can rotate them just by pushing a button up or down. And I rotate these panels three times a year. Right now it's in it's almost winter, so I've got them I've got them lower down pretty low because the sun sets pretty low to the south. All my panels face south. When I put them in, I made sure of that. But here, here's my powerhouse and my batteries. I just use the cheap batteries from Walmart. Cost about fifty-eight dollars a piece. Just car batteries. Here's my inverter. It's a Beaver, five thousand watt. Right now, I'm pulling about four hundred fifty watts in my house. And and my regulators. Here's my regulators. I've got two of them, and I built these myself. You know, if you get a really big regulator, they're expensive. So it's real cheap to make them yourself. And what I've got here is this is solenoid. It's a continuous solenoid. That means it can stay on all the time or click off. I've got a computer that's made special to do this, you can set when when your batteries get at a certain low level, you can set it and it will keep the regulator on, which comes from the solar panel. You understand what I'm saying? It's simple. And you can set this to when the batteries get up to a certain voltage, the computer shuts off the solenoid. Now this right here is a relay. I put this relay in to make things better because say at night time say you got your batteries set that when they get down to 12 and a half volts it kicks the regulator in. Well at night time when the solar panels aren't working if you run your batteries down too low your solenoid will kick in and it will just drain the batteries because it's dark the solar panels won't charge it. So I put this relay in. This relay is just an on and off relay, that's all. And to energize it, it goes straight to the solar panels. So when the solar panels get started and solar panels don't work, the relay shuts off the solenoid. So the solenoid won't kick in at night time. Real simple. It's a real smart idea, but this controls half my solar panel. These right here are blocking diodes that I put in for the rows of my solar panels. I put them in because I don't always trust the little diodes they put in the back of your solar panels. I like these to be in there just in case nothing back feeds at night time. Also these fans, these are just cheap aluminum pieces that I put on it to, to help cool it. Down here I've got the same thing for the other half of my solar panels. Same setup. Got a cooling fan that runs off the solar panel straight from the solar panels. That way it shuts off at night time. And then the solenoid. And then there's my diode. Yeah, it's real simple. See like right now if you look Usually, when they're set, it they show up 20, 21, 22 volts. That means they're not being used. Right now, it's drawn off all the solar panels. See, the top of my solenoid is warm. Down here is the same thing. This one's being working right now, too. The reason that they're on, usually, these stay off most of the time. You see right here? Now, these just shut off. I've got it set up 
in the two separate ways because it really works good like that for me. But anyway, as you can see, my voltage in my battery stays. It stays constant at 13.4 volts even when I've got most of the stuff in my house turned on. That's the goal, okay? When you're setting up solar panels, the goal is to keep your batteries charged even while you're using the average amount of stuff that you use every day. Not everything, but the average load that you use in your house today. You want to have enough solar panels and your the right regulators so that when you're using most of the stuff, your batteries stay charged. That gives you an extra charge for the night. And it just it's just the way you really have to get it like that if you want it to where you don't have part any problems. But anyway, that's how I've got mine set up. I I made a couple videos of this in the past, but I never have explained it all. And I've had a few people on YouTube want me to explain everything a little bit better. So I think this video will be pretty good. It explained things a lot better. So I hope this helps somebody. You know, I went through a lot setting up my solar panels, trying to figure it all out on my own. And 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 these old regulators, you know, that you get like this, the 10 amp and the 30 amp. You know, these are these are just worthless. You just don't even buy them. Just and you know they work if you're going to charge the battery on a lawnmower that's about all they're good for but anyway the the computer is real simple they make these and you get them on ebay you can get this special type of a computer if you see right here i'll show you how it works you push the button in and you can set how much it's going to charge when your batteries get up so I've got it set at 14 point volt, 5 volts. When I get there, they shut off. See there? And this is your low end. You set it when you want your regulator to kick in and start charging the batteries. So in other words, when the batteries get to 12.5 volts, my regulator, my solenoid will kick in and start charging them. And that's it. That's all you got to do. It's real simple. But uh, I guess that's just about it. Um, yeah, I hope this helps somebody. I mean, I've got a great setup here. It works really good. I just like it. It's, it's. I hardly ever do I run out of electricity. If I do, it's going to be the middle of winter where it's been cloudy outside for three or four days. Then I'll run out. But, you know, usually as soon as the cloud clears up, it'll charge it up. That, that's the biggest problem is in the winter time. And it really is the only problem for me. When you have three or four days or more of just clouds, thick clouds, and you're just going to run out. But other than that, I'd never run out. So anyway, I hope this helps somebody. And this, this inverter right here, this is a spare. It's a backup in case I ever need it, in case this one should quit in the middle of the winter. I can switch down to this one. Um, I've got a switch, a wire that runs clear into my house, into my bedroom. And in there, I've got a meter that comes with this beaver. And I, I can turn this on and off from my bedroom. It's real simple. And uh, anyway, I guess that's about it. I just want to show everybody a little better explanation of my setup. I hope this helps somebody. It took me a long time to figure this out, but I finally got it right. <laughs>